day 25. Um, today started out with my morning run and the weather was really, really nice. I thought it was going to be freezing cold, but um, <laughs> so I had like long johns on and everything and it, it wasn't that cold. It was actually very warm. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm running up and down this um, busy street that's by my house and a lot of people drive by there. And um, my thought is if somebody sees me that I know, <laughs> They're either going to say, hey, I saw you running down the street, or hey, I saw you walking down the street, and I'd rather them see me running down the street. So that kind of gives me a little bit of motivation to run more and walk less. Um, Quentin has me doing run five minutes, walk three, but I, I'm, I'm not walking three. I'm walking maybe like a minute, if that, um, and running my five. So um, it's, it's going good, though. I'm feeling really good with it. It's still very slow, but, you know. It's a start. It's a much better place than where I was three weeks ago when I very first uh, started running for a minute. It's a big improvement since then. So um, that's what I'll be doing this week is my 30-minute cardio. And I'll work out with Quentin on Tuesday and Thursday, get my yoga in this week, either on Friday or Saturday. I'm still waiting to see how that schedule is going to play out on one of those days. But um, I've got to get some yoga in. I didn't do it at all while I was pregnant. And it will be very nice to get in there and just kind of um, – stretch out my muscles and just kind of sit back and, and, and focus on me while I'm in there, a nice quiet room and stuff. That will feel really, really good. I can't take Phoenix there with me, so that gets a little more challenging, whereas I can take him on my runs or take him to the gym to work out. So that's a little bit harder, but I'm going to make it work this week. Um, food's been good. Um, I'm determined to not cheat, not do anything, really keep my workout strong. Uh, so I've got like, what, 20 something day, 20, 21 days left to the Christmas party. So, um, I really want to be where I want to be at that time. You know, once you decide that you're ready to do something, it's really not that hard to take the steps to do it. But if you're just kind of thinking about it and wishing you were in a different spot, then it's a little bit harder because you haven't decided that it means that much to you and you let things get in the way and you schedule time schedule things at times you're supposed to be working out and you just you don't put forth that much effort to make things happen so once you decide you're ready you'll do what it takes to make it happen and you can do it um today is what just a few days after thanksgiving so we're getting close to christmas it's gonna really take a lot of focus to try to not gain any weight between now and christmas or now and new year's so if you can start planning out your workouts and get your food in check, um, what I always tell my clients with calories, and I'm really not a big calorie counter because I'm more concerned with what you where you get your calories from. So if you're eating, you know, 1,500 calories worth of crap, your body's not going to do that great. It's not going to feel good. It's not going to do good in the gym. It's not even going to look good. So you got to make sure you're getting the correct numbers. But today I'm just going to tell you about calories because if I throw too much out at you, it's just going to be like whatever. You're not going to you're not going to get it. You're not going to hear it. So um, what I usually have my clients do, and this is just my own little made up um, equation that I do. But whatever it is that you weigh, so let's say you weigh um, 180 pounds. So I would give you 1,800 calories to kind of maintain where you are. If you want to lose weight, I would subtract 500 from that. Um, I only do this with people who really need to lose like at least 30 pounds or more. Anything less than that. So for somebody that weighed, say, 140 and they just wanted to lose um, 20 pounds, I would only I would take their 1,400 calories and just put it at a 250 deficit instead. Um, now those things change all the time because once you kind of your body gets leveled out with those calories, you may need to do a refeed and go some higher calories and then bring it back down. And uh, we can play with the carbs and the protein a lot too. But if you're tracking your food, which you should be, and you should be planning your food. So like today, you should have your food planned for the whole rest of the week. And you should um, have your every two to three hours, which we've already talked about that, and then have your protein with your fruit or your vegetable every time you eat. And now you're gonna throw in your calories. So. Um, whatever it is that is your weight, and then take 500 calories away from that. So um, if you have any questions, you can always email me or send me a little message on Facebook or whatever. But um, that's just a very generic way to go with that. 
So, um, anyway, I'm ready for a brand new week. Hoping to hit the gym really hard this week and make this going to look really pretty for me by next week. So, y'all have a good night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.